All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how Fibonacci works. Everything about Fibonacci, what you need to know. Um, you need to understand that Fibonacci is a general trading tool. It doesn't matter your strategy, your trading background. Fibonacci can be used by anybody. Okay, so I'm going to show you the general way people use Fibonacci and how you can customize yours and make it work for you the way you want to use it. All right, so let's get right into the video. Hmm. So Fibonacci is basically used for measuring trends. Like if the market is trending to the upside, as you can see, higher, higher, higher lows. Where would you buy from? Have you asked yourself that? Where would you buy from if you're going to be in an uptrend? Some of some of you here, the trend is your friend buying an uptrend, selling a downtrend. Do you know the right time to buy? Where to buy? When to know when the, the trend wants to peak in a, in a continuation? Do you know? Now, there is a way to actually know. There are many ways, but this video I'm going to show you a way called Fibonacci retracement. So, watch this now. What does the Fibonacci do? How do you use it? Okay, so we'll go choose our Fibonacci here. As you can see it, I'll draw from the bottom to the top. Good. Now my Fibonacci is more like it's kind of customized, as you can see. So um, I'm going to I'm going to send this back to a default so you can see it can look exactly like what you have on yours, right? So before I do that, I'm on settings. Okay, before I do that, I'm right now on settings. You can screenshot these settings. Take a look at it. Screenshot it. That it. Screenshot it. All right. Do more screenshots. All right. So I'm setting it back to default. Apply default. Okay. So now this is the default on so many of you are going to be having. So now the Fibonacci has what we call golden levels. So if you see all these numbers you see here, zero point two six. 0 0.236, 0 0.38, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, 0 0.78. All these values, as you see, they are all important, but they are levels that you need to look out for when you're looking for a retracement. So now, when you draw your Fibonacci, you always should draw it when price is showing some a sign of um, reversal, okay, or wanting to retrace a bit. So now, when you see this curve sign, as you can see here, what do you do? You, you that's when you draw your Fibonacci. Now on an uptrend, you must draw it from low to top. Okay, good. So when you wait carefully, patiently, when this retraces down to 0 0.5 level, anything 0 0.5, 0 0.61 are very nice levels to take your buys from. Now, would you just take your buys around 0 0.5, 0 0.618 level? No, you need to take your buys after you have seen some more confirmation. And Fibonacci is not a strategy on its own, it's just a tool. So when you're using Fibonacci, you should make sure that you have some confidences. Like, you should be very careful. Have some confidences, guys. Have some confidences. Not just draw your Fibonacci. Confidences like if you trace what a resistance, you can have a resistance zone around here. Yes. And at that, at that area, it's now in confluence with the 0 0.5 or 6, 0 0.618 level on your Fibonacci. And then you now start seeing some rejection candlestick patterns that shows um, it wants to reverse back up. That's when you should not take your trade. And this involves the smaller time frame. If you're on the one hour chart doing this, or you are on the four hour chart doing this, you want to see the rejections on a smaller time frame, like five minutes, 15 minutes. And that's where you can take your buy trade. And how do you set your stop loss? It's best to put your stop loss below the previous low. That's kind of safest, right? So put your stop loss below the previous low and aim for something high. Okay. So when you do that, you'll be anticipating a move, a continuation like this. That's basically how to use it. So I'm going to show you in real life charts and uptrend, especially. So let's get right there. All right. So here we go. First example this is Euro USD on the four hour chart. As you can see, a very clean example, just like what I drew. You see, price broke structure to the upside. So, this is where your Fibonacci comes in. I take my two. I'm going to draw from this low to the upside. You won't just draw that, but you wait for when this, see when this bearish candle formed. That's when you know that, okay, price is showing some uh, signs of reversal. So, at this level, that's when you're going to um, um, draw your Fibonacci from low to the high. I would recommend you don't add the wicks. Just make sure it's from body to body. 
now this is where the retracement comes in can you see it's retraced to 0.5 level and it took off from here this is a very very sustainable strategy so how do you get your entry just you just find out that as a price action trader i'm not talking about smart money concept right now i'm talking about normal support and resistance okay so as a support and resistance trader you know that there is some kind of uh, uh resistance here that price came back to retest as an smc trader you know at this area there is an fvg here so look at if I the fvg is at this area there's a fair value gap here I, I, you can see that good so these are confidence that you need to match to fibonacci levels don't just use fibonacci levels anyhow so we'll go to the 15 minute chart and see the candle reaction the price action around there so we can see if it's something that would have given us a go ahead for in that situation so let's let's go back in time all right so this was the exact time mm. Exact time, exact time, exact time, exact time, exact time. So, as you can see around this level, what do you see? You see this candlestick pattern. You see lots of rejections, rejections, and price progressing higher. So, if you're entering the trade, this is exactly where you're going to be buying from. And where will your stop loss be? Below the low, around maybe here or so. This is more going to be like more like a swing trade because I discovered my. Fibonacci on the four hour charts. All right, so now I'm going to show you um, another example, but this time I'm going to be using a downtrend. So now watch how I'm going to do it on the downtrend. I'm going to draw the schematics here and you're going to watch me do this. Yeah, so you see how price is going for instance. If you see something like this happening and you want to know the right time to get into the sell, trend is your friend. Downtrend, you look for sales. Easy peasy, don't complicate it, right? So when are you going to draw your feet when you're seeing some signs of reversal price is trying to reverse and okay and price is trying to reverse now okay price is most likely going to retrace and here you draw your feet okay from the most recent high the most recent high to the current low you see that high to low when i'm drawing my fibonacci i'm very cautious about the direction if you are in a downtrend you're drawing it from high to low see how this arrow face that's for a downtrend and that's how you draw your fibonacci and that's the opposite for the uptrend uptrend you do the inverse do that which is from down to up all right so as you can see this now price having to retrace around this area 0.5 or 0.61 area that's when you go get yourself now you will just get yourself like i said you have some other confidences like support and resistance if you're doing a SMC, it could be FVG. If you're doing, uh, it could be FVG. It could be um, other blocks, breaker blocks, anything, point of interest or area of interest that can also help this thing drop. That's what you're going to use. And you need to go and back test this. So let's go right on the chart and see where this works. Now, I, I can't say it works every single time, but I think most of the time, yes now we see an area like this let's, let's see if it works this area so this is a complete downtrend so part of my feet from the most recent high to this level okay this is why i say it's a, a downtrend and see brooks breaking structure to the low, to the downside you know giving lower high lower low logic now if you see where this week tapped that was on 50 percent level and around there for smc traders that's a breaker block for price action and um, support and resistance trader, that's a support turn resistance. So this is a breaker block, first of all. As you can see, I seen that breaker block, and that's how price actually mitigated it and dropped. If you're a support and resistance trader, yeah, it's most likely gonna be called support turn resistance. And this is exactly where you're gonna take your sell trade, and your stop loss could be anywhere. But just make sure you know what you're doing and you're using some other confluences to add to it. All right, so this is basically the like the basic way to use Fibonacci. So if I want to talk about the smart money, in-depth smart money way to use Fibonacci. So let's see if I can get my settings back.
So now I'm going to show you a more advanced way to use Fibonacci. Now this is for most people doing SMC. Now it's the same logic, but um, this would give you a better understanding. Now when the market is trending to the upside, for instance, do you know why it normally pulls back to go back up? It does that because anything below half of this swing is called a discount area and anything above half of the swing is called a premium area so if smart money must buy this market they must make sure it goes below the middle of it so the smc fib is kind of customized and it just has three numbers 0 1 and 0 0.5 so now i'll draw my fib it's the smc settings and you see it right here good as you can see half of this is 0 0.5 okay half of it is what 0 0.5 so therefore whenever price go below this this is when it's best for buying but now what are the confluences that you see there's always going to be some point of interest below 50 percent of this either Fevali gaps or other blocks or sell side liquidity or just anything that is able to make us a bullish move so therefore if you are going to look for other blocks Fevali gaps sell side liquidities any of these things that are going to influence markets to go in the up direction make sure you locate them below the, the half of this swing which i just drew now make sure you locate them below meaning if it's above here it's a spam until it's below then it's worth it this is a better way to look at fibonacci so if you want to know how to set this like this just go back to the beginning of this video you're going to see when i or oh, i can just do here don't worry this is the settings as easy as this make sure you turn off all other numbers keep 0 1 and 0 0.5 on and use the same colors if that's what you want and that's all that's just all simple and short right for for an up for a downtrend market the same logic the fucking same logic so lower lows right and then if i'm drawing that fib i'll draw it from recent high to recent low okay so Remember, anything above is a premium, anything below discount. Smart money would not sell from um, the discount. They must sell at premium. So they will, anything below here, don't take it seriously. All other points of interest above here, more seriously. Okay? So this is the better way to look at Fibonacci's. And you can see them on the chart. You can go and back test them. Here's the same thing here. I'm going to draw from this high to this low. And you see what price did. Price had to come to the premium area before the drop and when it came to the premium area what specific area did it mitigate or did it touch this whole other block was used and you see how price dropped so you always find point of interest at the premium at the discount side depending on the trend if you found this video helping me you know what to do click the like button subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video okay.